What is going on boys and girls? It is your boy Temporary Citizen and welcome to the second episode of the Yamaha XSR 900 Scrambler build. So today we are talking about using protection, all right? When I first posted the pictures of this bad boy with the Scrambler tires, had a buttload of comments telling me about how I needed to use protection. It was very unsafe not to use protection. So that's what we're doing today. So the very first thing I want to talk about is, oh, let's just change that. So as you can see here, oh, let's try and be fancy and zoom in. I have got some fork gaiters. So I've got some fork gaiters on there to protect the forks because they're down low, so they're very vulnerable. So what I did with that was when we were putting, when we were swapping over this tire, pulled it off, pulled the forks off. I had some $20 fork gaiters that I got on eBay. I put the link up in the last video, but I'm pull, I'll put them up again. And we had to cut them and, and force them on because they were a little bit too small. So I probably want to go a bigger size than whatever I used. But yeah, chopped them up, put them on there. They look quite nice. Uh, they give it a scramble look and they also protect the forks. So it's a cool, cheap little thing to do. Now the second thing we're gonna get to is radiator protection. So I've got a guard here. I'm gonna put it on a little bit of a time lapse. Watch me pull the bolts out and put on the new radiator guard. Alright, so I'm not very good at filming, obviously, because I didn't film it, but basically there's a bolt here, a bolt under here, they're both Allen head bolts. You pull them out, you put this on top, you zip tie it down the bottom. Pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Just going to take a picture. Next, we're going to look at protection for the engine. Oh, the other thing is, this kit that I've got has a little MT-09 badge on it because there's heaps of parts for the MT-09, not a whole lot for the XSR 900. Just gonna sharpie that out, because, you know, who cares? Onto the engine protection. So the main thing you're gonna need is an eight mil socket wrench bit to get the, get the bolts out, because they got little little hex head screws that come with it and that's what's in there. So you pull those two out, put the frame in and then it's got a bit under here that goes boop, through. So see how we go. I'll keep the camera on. So whilst we're faffing around with the cage, putting that on, we've got the final safety aspect of today, and that's this bad boy. It's just a little wide plate for the kickstand. So just a couple of Allen screws, let's put it on. The reason that I'm thinking is that'll give me an extra few millimeters rise, which is handy because it's got those big chunky tires, and also whenever I want to put the bike down off-road, it's got a bit more of a contact patch, so it should be a little bit safer. So we'll uh, chuck that on real quick as well. And yeah.
so in case you wanted to check out fit, this is how it looks, this is how I fit. I'm a giant dude, but I'm still not clipping anywhere on this cage. The other thing is, when you walk it, you sort of run into it a little bit. But that's about it. Also, that foot plate extension, so good. Raises it up just the right amount. I swear to God, people in this neighborhood only want to mow their lawns when I'm filming videos. Anyway, that's the, uh, that's it for today. Hope you've, uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. So we did, we did the radiator cage, the radiator grill, the crash cage, and the foot plate, foot kickstand extension plate. Uh, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, tell all your friends, let every company you know to send me some stuff to put on my bike. Next video, hopefully if everything goes to plan, we're gonna be looking at rock, we're looking at lighting. So thank you, and uh, catch you guys and gals on the next one, peace.